Europe and the US are in negotiations which they hope will result in a much needed boost to their cash flows. They're sitting down to hammer out the transatlantic trade and investment partnership, which would remove a number of regulations that currently create barriers to trade. The successful adoption of the agreement promises both parties substantial gains. Yet the profits come at a price, as critics say the agreement will put health, security and environment regulations in danger. But that risk is worth 119 billion euros, which the EU's economy is promised annually from the deal. Journalist and author Glenn Moody explains the cons of the partnership there. It's based on the idea not just of getting rid of the barriers to trade, of which there are very few between the US and EU, but of getting rid of what are called the non-tariff barriers. And those really amount to regulations, things like health regulations, safety regulations, environmental regulations. And so the whole thing is predicated on actually deregulating the uh, European and American uh, systems. So that's a very big assumption because people may not want to have their food less safe or their environment more polluted for the sake of more money. That's precisely what would happen is the fact there'll be fewer constraints and therefore it's true it will generate lots of money for the big companies but effectively the public will pay in terms of reduced uh, regulation, reduced protection and that is never calculated in these uh, trade agreements. It's always about the bottom line of the big companies. He predicts a lot of corporations will abuse the right to take legal action against governments to push their agendas forward. Let's listen in. Corporate sovereignty is about putting the corporation above the nation. It lets a company sue a country. And they can do that when they claim that their expectation of future profits has been diminished by changes in legislation or by particular legislation already in place. And what I think will happen is that companies like Monsanto will sue the EU for billions of dollars because they will say that refusing to allow genetically modified organisms to be sold here is actually a barrier to trade and therefore their profits have suffered. And therefore, under the TTIP re regulations, assuming they go through, they will claim to have a right to sue the European Union. The talks are scheduled to continue through to Friday, yet the ongoing NSA scandal could tarnish the discussion, as RT's Peter Oliver reports. The idea behind TAFTA, the Transatlantic Free Trade Agreement, is to generate billions of dollars of business between the United States and the European Union. Well, it all sounds great. However, the amount of snags that this deal has hit over the time since it's been put on the table suggests that not everybody's happy with everything that it would contain. Now, to talk a little bit more about some of those stumbling blocks, I'm joined by Michael M. Ross, economic analyst. Thank you very much for talking to me. Now, just over our shoulder, over here, just over your shoulder over there is the US Embassy. Now, the John Curry, the Secretary of State, says that the NSA spying saga isn't going to be an issue when it comes to talking about trade. But that saga has limited trust between the two countries. How can you have trade when you don't have trust? I mean, uh, Germany and the EU is nothing else than... Uh, let's face it, uh, slaves of the United States. Politicians are saying, oh, this is very bad, they're spying on us, they're spying on Angela Merkel, but there is no real uh, consequence out of it, you know? How does that relate, though, to business in particular? Um, if you were, say, one of the big, giant German companies, would you be willing to sit down with one of your American counterparts to do trade, knowing that perhaps they were listening in to all of your secret conversations? Of course, the NSA and all the spying is not only about political issues, but also about economic facts. German companies are aware that they are spied and that the Americans take the, the results of the spying for themselves. But they cannot do anything against it. Now, there is a potential legislative minefield that comes from this and also the potential for the stripping of sovereign rights. Um, lots of people have campaigned in the EU saying that too many rights go to, uh, uh, determined by Brussels. What this could end up seeing is that trade could end up determining the laws of a country. How will that go down in Germany? Let's face it, I mean, this, this treaty is nothing else than submitting the EU working force to the good of US corporacy. They want to put and dictate their own rules to the whole world and also to the EU. It won't have any advantage at all. This is a, all a hoax, it's all a lie. And nobody on the streets wants it. We have our own rights, we have our own laws, they're working fine. Why should we submit ourselves to the Monsanto Mafia? They are the ones that are profiting from this tweeting, nothing else.
Michael M. Ross, economic analyst, thank you very much for talking to me there. So the second round of talks on TAFTA underway, but certainly still a long way to go to convince the people of Europe that this is best for them.